going to make it? I'm scared. Mm. Alright, I guess I'll do it. <clears throat> Try to spit out my gum. Hey guys, thank you guys for watching today. And let me start over. Hey guys, thank you guys for watching today um, and subscribing to our channel. If you haven't done so, please do so. And today, our topic is um, relationships. And we just want to discuss about when is it safe to move on from a relationship or to keep building and. Oh, I didn't say that right. You did. Yeah. I said it right. Should I start over all the way from the beginning? Hey guys, thank you guys. Hey guys, thank you guys. Thank you for watching today um, and watching our video. And we are going to discuss um, the topic of relationships. And we're just going to go over some things about whether to stick it. Um, to stick it. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for watching our video today. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel. Um, to watch some more updated videos that we will be posting. Um, today we're going to discuss about the topic of relationships and uh, we're going to go over um, when it's time to move on from a relationship and continue to fight for that relationship whether it's a friend or it's a relationship you are looking to prolong in marriage or, or further after that. And So um, today I want Maya to start off in opening with just her, her suggestions about um, how she stuck in with me and when she when she realized that I was the perfect match for her and why she she chose to stick with me and didn't decide to move on with another relationship when you, she had an opportunity to do so so if you would like to speak on that topic go ahead so I think the time when it was like if we were gonna stay together or if we were gonna move on well for me I was about 17 um, so the thought of me turning 18 automatically meant like I'm an adult and like if he's gonna be there I'm gonna marry him pretty soon so I think for him at the time he was going through some personal football stuff too. Where this about you, not about me. No, but it's even oh, both okay. of us what was happening. And he told me about the stuff later, but at the time he wouldn't really talk to me. So when I would go to his house, we would just be sitting there. And he wouldn't talk to me. So I didn't know like why I was there. <laughs> not in a bad way. Later when he told me the stuff, I, I get it, but for me and for a relationship with communication there was nothing there so out of being 17 I was soon to be turning 18 and it just set in about him because he had been there for like three years at that point if we were gonna be together forever by the time I turned 18 I should know but at the time he was going through some personal stuff that he wouldn't talk to me about. So when I would go to his house, we would be sitting there doing nothing and not talking. So at the time when I would go to his house, we wouldn't really be doing any activities or going out or anything. We'd just be watching TV, not talking, just just there, taking up space. So as my... It sounds more harsh as you say it again. But go ahead. <laughs> As my 17 year old self, I was still getting attention at that time from outside sources. So since he wasn't paying me any attention, I was seeking attention elsewhere. <laughs> And I noticed with those people, they never, like, measured up to him. 
Like, even though I felt there was something missing from that relationship, I felt like it could be worked out rather than just trying with somebody new and then I'm trying to find him in the other person. Oh, that sounds good. That vibe was great. Um, so for me, it would probably be the the same incident when it happened where I felt, okay, since we're no longer connecting the way that I wanted to, should I just move on to somebody else or should I keep working on it and, and look at to see what I'm doing wrong to make the relationship better. And so um, I felt that I, look, I had to look at myself because I knew that she was doing everything she could to, ma to make the relationship um, better and to make it work. And I was the one closed off and not talking or communicating or anything like that. So um, I had to look at myself. It took some some pride checking. Being a man, a man always wants to have pride, but that can be the one thing that would destroy everything you love and everything you have. And so I had to really look at myself. You crying? No, That's my okay. eyes water oh, okay. because of pain. Oh, okay. So I had to really look at myself and to really check myself and to see what I was doing wrong and and to really um, throw the pride out the window and to really get in touch with my feminine side and to really understand her feelings and, and to really learn how to communicate to her. So um, because I knew I wanted to be with her the rest of my life, I just didn't know how much work it had to take to communicate and stay open to another person. So that's what I had to really commit myself into to learning her every move, to studying her, to understanding her thought process and how to communicate to her properly in the way that she can receive it and not the way that I will receive it. And so um, that's where it was basically for me having to check myself into learning to love her like she needed to be loved and not me loving her the way that I felt I wanted to love her. And so um, now it's changed. Now I love her more than she loves me <laughs> anyways I'm just kidding so since we talked about relationships and things like that I want to move on to friendships and um, how you know um, it is the right time to move on from a friendship and to to kind of not to be negative or not to hate them or anything like that but just to just to really find out that it's time for you to move on and to, to find another friend or find another relationship you can build with another person where you can kind of um, encourage each other and, and you guys kind of believe in the same things and you guys are um, aiming for the same things in life. And so that's why I want to open up um, with that as well. I'm going to start off um, with that where I have a lot of friends who I grew up with and we were friends for a long time and and we always felt, you crying again? I'm sorry. So um, I felt that a lot of the friends that I used to hang out with, um, I don't anymore because of my relationship with God. And I felt that he kind of took me to a place um, and humbled me and kind of took me on a journey where everybody couldn't follow. And, and not not saying that um, they're lower than me or I just don't like them anymore because that is not the case. But I felt that the place God was taking me, I had to go on the journey by myself and not saying that I didn't have family and friends to support me, but um, I had to build that relationship um, with God because I felt that my personal relationship with Him wasn't as strong until I decided to really commit myself to Him. And so um, having that relationship with friends kind of um, kind of strayed a little bit, um, but I do have some that I can talk to and, and mentor, and they mentor me as well, but um, dealing with friends and whether I, I knew to hold on to them or to let them go. I knew basically on, on what my goals were and what uh, my passion was to do. And basically the actions spoke for himself. And so um, those people who were committed to the same things that I was committed to stuck around and, and they're in my life as well. And so that's why I felt that um, that's where that, that barrier broke off where it was really just my life goals and my plans and my purpose in life. That was basically my view on relationships, dealing with friends. I want my wife to discuss on how she found out when it was time to let go of a relationship or when it was time to to keep working on it and just to try to see what they what can come out of it and how they can grow or 
If it was time for her to let it go. Like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'd say starting in middle school is when I noticed a pattern of unhealthy friendships that I had. Um, I wouldn't say it was just bad people. I think we all had good intentions, but we just didn't know how to be friends to each other. Um, so I'd say towards high school, the end of high school, I had the same set since like middle school through high school. And the whole time, it was pretty clear signs that we probably just shouldn't be friends with each other. I think girls like to stick with people that are familiar and have familiar situations. But that's not always good for your growth. So, I'd say after high school is when everybody kind of dissipated and didn't really talk to each other anymore. Like the core friends. But I still had good friends that probably should have been my closest friends instead of that core group but I didn't know that at the time. I'd say some clear signs of when you should maybe not be in a, a friend relationship anymore or if you're gonna try to grow with that person in the friendship. Um, if it's like consistency of inconsistency of inconsistency <laughs> like I don't know how else to explain it like if it's if stories are constantly inconsistent I can't say the word inconsistent words. it's okay inconsistent yeah, okay you got it we'll, we'll, we'll cut that no, in no we're keeping all that in <laughs> <laughs> it's like the person always seems like they're hiding something or like you don't get the full story of everything at all times and it goes on for like years maybe it's not the best person to confide in or tell all your deep stuff to um but if there's like a person where like they move away but you guys are still good friends but you might not just be able to hang out all the time i'd say just hang on to that friendship I think there'll be a time where you guys could come back together closely and stuff like that. Yeah. But, yeah. I like to kind of piggyback off what you just lastly said. Um, I was listening to John Gray, and he was just talking about how friends, he he's, he's friends with a lot of people that aren't even close to him in proximity and living areas. And so I feel that really good friends, you can be miles and miles away and still be able to hang out once every couple months or whatever it may be and it feels like you guys are just hanging out with each other just the other day so I feel that's what kind of makes that good relationship um, so so friends I feel that you can have distant friends I feel that it if you continue to work on it and just check up on each other or, or encourage each other um, that's what a friendship is for not downing a person or trying to make someone else's life worse than what it is or trying to make their life as bad as yours um, I feel that that's the wrong type of relationship to be in. And I feel that encouraging one another and, and just helping, helping your friend or helping your spouse or whatever it may be is the goal to having a good relationship and communication as well. And so um, I feel it's so important for us to have good relationships because we want somebody to talk to when we're not feeling well or when we're going through some things in life. We don't always have that spouse to talk to or mom and dad to talk to. So I feel that having a friend around um, and just having that good relationship, it helps. Don't you think so? Yeah, yeah. So I feel having a good relationship with a person, it just helps out a lot. And um, just having a genuine relationship with a person and not being fake, um, I feel um, that's what makes a good relationship strong and it will last for years and years. Um, I would say one of my relationships with my friends I've been friends with him for since ninth grade and so uh, I was what 16 years old now I'm 25 and I feel that the relationship is going to keep going because we just we kind of have the same goals in life by by pursuing uh, pursuing the higher way of living that God has planned for us and just building a relationship with each other is really good don't you think so yeah um should I tell what I said okay yeah. Um, you can tell it. So, started crying a little bit because I have sensitivity with friendships. I feel like I had more heartbreak with friendships than like actual 
relationships. So I have friends that have been there since like middle school that's good now. But I just feel like I just always have issues with like friendships that seem to just get worse and worse. Well, it's getting better. Yeah. And I want to get a little preachy right now, but I feel that God places these people around us for a reason to kind of help us to build that relationship with him as well and not to because a lot of people can let us down and even though they don't do it on purpose their intentions are, aren't bad but um, their hearts sometimes are in the wrong place and they can they can genuinely hurt a person and not really know them. so I feel that um, that going through that that time of having bad relationships and bad friendships I feel it was it was just a reason in that and God will use it to help build you and so I feel that whether you went through a lot of bad relationships with a person or a friend, I feel that it, it's a learning process to learn and whether you also must be um, a good person as well and not just saying everybody everybody hates me and you're a bad person as well. So I feel that it's, um, it also, um, your part has to go into it as well by being a good friend and being um, an honest person and by having uh, open communication and just knowing what you guys stand for as a as a couple and as a friendship wise as well and so um based on our relationship we're growing every day it's so amazing i haven't been perfect in our relationship but she I loves have. me through it she loves me through it and, and <laughs> helps me to be so so strong and so open in communication i'm so like feminine now the way i talk sometimes i'm like a girl but i love it it helps us talk more it helps us to communicate and just love each other more and realize the the things god wants to do through us and so that's why we get excited because we just love it we love marriage a lot of people don't like marriage but i love it i'll promote it get married man to one woman and nobody else and not just I, any woman though but like that special that woman, woman. And not try to get married to her and still have your little side chick because that's not how a marriage is going to grow. And you're never going to grow as a person through it either. So, um, is that all you want to say to me? Yeah. Any closing remarks? That's it. So, thank you guys for watching today. Um, hope, hope this message kind of um, set something in you to kind of look at your life and look at the friendships or relationships that you have with people. And I hope you guys build on relationships and learning how to communicate better with your with your spouse or with your friends or whatever it may be to kind of build that, that level of trust and that level of communication that kind of builds your relationships better. And hopefully you guys will continue to, uh, to like our videos, um, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're so excited that we're having these videos together and we're so excited every morning we wake up we're like, yeah, let's do a video. Nah, we kind of forgot, and we're just like, wait, we're supposed to do our video today, so. I took a nap, and yeah. he told me some ideas. I was, I was excited, and, and I had some ideas placed in my mind. So anyways, I know this video is long. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys next week on our video. Peace. Is this going to be on our video?